Holy Spirit, church is strong. Drinking this living water till my thirst is gone. Come on. Hey, I don't mean to come and rough for your feather. I take that back, I'm trying to rough for your feather. This anointing will break the yoke. I know you fold under pressure. It's like every time you choke, know when you go under pressure. Uh. Hey, King Jesus is the greatest one ever. Faithful forever, oh, yeah, for real, and I'm a sayer forever. If you call the devil your daddy, boy, you faker than ever. And on the day the judgment come, boy, you gon' face it together. You don't think before you speak, man, you just saying whatever. Only right I took this beat, I'm trying to make it sound better. Uh. You see the difference between my music and yours? You more focus on doing tours, I'm more focus on saying it. Yo, if you don't like the things I stand for, you can carry on. If you don't like the way I answer, well, just carry on. If it's too much to say, I stand a man, just carry on. It's cost me heavy, it gets heavy, still I carry on. I preach a message I the most don't like to hear. Open both your eyes and ears. I go where I know it's dark. Time to shine the light in here. We got Jesus Christ in here. You can find your life in here. This is where your blessings, yo. Throw your weed away. You don't need no alcohol. Living double-minded out here. Blinded, boy, you bound to fall. And hit your knees today. Pray until you can't no more. Ask God to forgive you. Then get up and let your family know. And you're a product. How prayer can really help you. It don't matter okay. what the voice of the enemy tries to tell yeah, you. And you're a product. How prayer can really huh. help you. And put your trust in Jesus. Please believe me. He won't fail. Yeah. It's only right I get my worship on. Word is bomb for real. I'm the first to bomb. That's not today's music, but that's our intro music. Drinking uh. lip and water to my thirst. And what you had in your heart? Is it a sinful desire? Well, wait a couple is minutes. Is it greed? Well, is it two minutes. Fire? Are you excited by the things that you see on the day? What exactly are you hiding in your heart? But I'm saying, I see abundance, let it speak. What you keep on your tongue? Is it life? Is it death? Let's see which tree you eat from. When the spirit fights the flesh, hey, Christ, when we want. It is finished, it is finished. Hey, the king said it's done. Let me is you. Take greed, trade it in for generosity. Make peace, be the first with your apology. A good soul, you produce a beautiful fruit. Don't get caught in no debate, don't get caught in no dispute. Hatred and unforgiveness, a poison for many. And so many live with the sickness and destroying so many. Yeah, so many drift off the plane in the trash again. And even though they cuss at us, my father still goes after them. No typical love, his unconditional love. Hey, typical just to love when you never knew what it was. Look, I can tell you mad at me, but you the one who doubted him. You get both your kneecap broken one day, you gon' bow to him. It's only right I get my worship on. Word is born for real. I'm the first to bomb me. Full of the Holy Spirit, now the church is strong. Drinking this living water till my thirst is gone. Come on. Yo. I encourage growth. Me and How's it gonna hook up his charger? Check it out. Hey, faith. Is it faith? Hey, faith. Hey, faith. Tell them F A I T. Don't forget the H, please. L O V E. I know Jesus loves me. F A I T. Don't forget the H, please. L O V E. I know Jesus loves me. You pay for this. I pray for this. You compromise your ways these days. You won't stay with this. Don't fake the funk. Don't come around if you ain't made for this. Come pick up the cross and walk obedient with faithfulness. How can you say you free if you don't know what freedom means? You can't promote you the work? kingdom though if you uh. don't know the king. Only inheritance for the arrogant is embarrassment. It's embarrassing. Most Americans won't act like good Samaritans. Don't mean to question you, but some things I just have to say. Dude, your thoughts too. are not my thought plus. I don't understand your ways. Why am I always in these tidal waves? The strongest winds. He brought me to the water where he knew my haters couldn't swim. A sin will sink you to the bottom of the ocean flow. Sin will keep you thinking now there ain't no hope no more. But God will lift you up and save you from your greatest pain. Like yes, I would deliver him. I'm all, I'm all waiting for the music. Which we starting though? Forgive me, Lord, for the times of life was so fast. Fill me up, Lord, this burden is your temple. Fill me with your faith and love. I pray this life I live compels Ready? you to want yeah. more of him. If you pursue you this holiness, pause. you find out what's when we play. All right. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is Jesus Beat. I'm Jessica, or Jess, however you know me. My name's Tyler. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Today on the Jesus Beat, this is our seventh episode. Um, we're doing Bizzle, No Hate. And then uh, 
Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Should we read it? Should we play it first and then I'll read the intro? Yeah. We'll play it and then we'll talk about it. No, I should talk about the about the um about Bizzle first, huh? Mm. We'll play the song first. Okay. And then we'll talk. About and then we'll we'll get into Bizzle, yeah. And then. We'll it's on the Surrender album. It was released October 2015. And uh, here it is. It's pretty cool. Here it is. <laughs> Money on my whole team. I bank out like a shoe with my old cheek. And I don't really know how to be low key. Logo on my chest, like what it do. He them followers of Christ, tell me what he do. And if you're not one, we can still kick it. But I might preach to you. I'm just being real with it. Christ said you gotta love them when they front too. You love measured by the hate you can love through. And if Christ took the cross for the same one to put him there and die for his killers, he can love you. He the boss. I be on my jail. The way I do it, got a maiming in my halo. The truth hurt, but it do work. Until you met him, you can never know your true worth. I keep it 100. Some of y'all love it, some of y'all don't, but I ain't finna change nothing. G O M, we gon' keep it coming. If it's hating, you the only one that does it. Homie, you can hate me, but you ain't getting no hate back. You get no hate back. Homie, you can hate me, but you ain't getting no hate back. Cause all the hating in the world won't make me a hater. Hater, 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 hater. All the hating in the world won't make me a hater. Hater, 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 hater. All the hating in the world won't make me a hater. Hater, 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 hater. All the hating in the world won't. With a flaw, huh? I'm finna see the light. I was raised in the dark, but he came for the loss and he paid on the cross. I'm a servant of the king and I bang for the dog. You say you ain't a Christian, I right, cool. And you can't rock with it cause it's not true. But game rock red, snoop rock blue. You ain't never bang in your life, but you cop too. Just saying, y'all be acting funny though. First I'm a hater cause I'm broke and my money low. Found out I made a couple hundred on a low, now they like so. I thought it was God over money though. Hate it when I'm paid, hate it when I'm broke They hating on my faith, hating on my folk See them drown in the middle of the ocean When you pull up, they be hating on your boat Tell me you can hate me, but you ain't getting no hate back You ain't getting no hate back Tell me you can hate me, but you ain't getting no hate back Cause all the hating in the world won't make me a hater Hater, 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 hater All the hating in the world won't make me a hater Hater, 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 hater All the hating in the world won't make me a hater Things first, I'm blessed, boy. All the stress when you dress like Metroid. Uh, all up in the armor, something on a hater like you won't see this logo on my chest, boy. You already know though. Bumpy get to snapping like a photo on my click click. We the misfits that the spit with something like where them Indians will live. Intense. Uh, it's more the music than your amusement. Knew that before we get formed at Union with the boy in Houston. Yeah. I never doubt it, what the law was doing nope. With me or biz, I just grab my sword and with the war to prove it Ooh, uh, This platform that we using, mask on Evolution is that strong, the illusion is passed on With the youth is I'm back, drawing a blueprint So any hater for God to get mashed on Tell me you can hate me, but you ain't getting no hate back You getting no hate back Tell me you can hate me, but you ain't getting no hate back Cause all the hating in the world won't make me a hater Hater, 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 hater All the hating in the world won't make me a hater playing or what? No, no, yeah, no. Play, he's gonna play his whole phone <laughs> right now. <laughs> Alright, that was Bizzle No Hate. Um, uh, let's see, what should we do? Lyrics first or... Alright, let's get to know Bizzle. Alright, Bizzle. With no resources other than the Bible in his hand and Jesus in his heart, Bizzle was given engineers studio time and producers free of charge to whip out his first album, a Christian mixtape. 
Vizzle says, you feel like you have to play by Satan's rules in order to get where you want, says Vizzle, whose real name is Mark Julian Felder. All the stuff I felt that we had to go and to do to go and cut corners and scheme to get money to pay for, the Lord brought these things without me having to spend a dime. He just sent them my way. Um, let me see. Bizzle was raised in, in Kure, a small, I don't even know if I said that right, Kure, 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 a small neighborhood of Los Angeles by his mother and grandmother who dragged him to church. He never felt poor because his mom managed their section 8 with wisdom. His dad lives in nearby, in nearby in Compton. His dad lived nearby in Compton, a famous export, exporter of rap artists. Bizzle had verses in his veins since early childhood. His idol was Tupac and he became enamored with the thug life of pistols, revenge, and crime. Typical 80s babies, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, when he graduated from high school, he, uh, he hawked mixtapes and with worldly themes, bragging about gangster living, he never did. That's so funny that, that he was, that they wrote, wrote this article that he was, um, what's that word? Brave enough to say that he rapped about a lifestyle that he never lived. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he did it for money, you know, things like that. All right. Then under, let's see. He's, he, um, he was um, opening up shows for little Wayne Jules, Santana, and all these other people who don't mean anything. But he was uh, sleeping at a friend's place, at his friend's places, or in his car. He was sleeping in his car. Um, he borrowed chains to go on stage. He borrowed jewelry to, and people that would um, drive him to his... Uh, he would have people drive them in their nice cars to the to the shows. So mm -hmm. it looks like he's a like he's a big time rapper. He's a big well big time, but he's sleeping in his car or mm -hmm. at his friend's house and borrowing chains and things like that. Um, he produced some mixtapes that showed promise, but he wasn't making money, so he was still in the world. So he decided he needed to turn for, and practicing what he preached, crime, to speed up the money making. He began selling marijuana and pills. A prostitute who liked his music offered to help help and started passing him earnings that's how he became a pimp he it turns out the prostitute was a backslidden pastor's daughter her brother played the drums in worship so <laughs> he's got tangled up with some people you know and then uh a but in a good way you know what i mean like like stevie said like grandma says that was the lord <laughs> mm. bizzle began to attend services at first he was he wasn't convicted at all by his own evil he said it's like you go to the beach and you get out in the water and you don't notice how far you're getting away, getting way out there in the deep, Bizzle says in his testimony video. It wasn't until I looked at Christ and saw how righteous he was that I realized how filthy I was. I never in a million years would pimp, Bizzle, Bizzle says now. Especially since I was raised by my mother and my grandmother, I always had respect for women. But since that... But since that was funding my dream at the moment, I gave it a pass. That was the furthest I got from God, and it caused me to get the to get the closest to God. Okay, so we're wrapping down to when uh, he actually first, you know, repented, changed his mind. You know, yeah. Bizzle and a friend went to Las Vegas to hustle money with a prostitute, which is the back um, the pastor's daughter. Bizzle had a habit of st stowing her profits in his Bible. But he also read the Bible and it intrigued him. One day his buddy came out of the shower and caught him reading his Bible. He says, So what you gonna be a raspel uh what you gonna be a gospel rapper now? A gospel rapper now? His buddy mocked him. Bizzle says, You know what? I might. One day the Lord just had to put that conviction on my heart. After four years of rapping dirty lyrics and doing dirty deeds, Bizzle decided to switch to the Lord's side in 2008. He surrendered his life to Jesus Christ and was born again. He had no funds, but he was determined to serve the Lord instead of Satan. He took off. He took two years off. He got married to the love of his life in Houston and worked at Walmart. Then he staged his return to rap now for Christian hip hop. He says, when I decided to rap for the Lord, I had no resources. I didn't have any money for studio time. I didn't have anybody to mix the records, he says. Then people started coming out of the blue. That was the Lord. Mm. Bizzle is a counterbalance to Lecrae. So not, not, not enemies, but a counterbalance, meaning Bizzle raps this certain way and Lecrae la raps this certain way. They affect the audience in a certain way and they're... they're 
their um, not their speech, but their lyrics are um, for two different aspects of people, yeah. but they're for the same purpose. I guess you could say that. Yeah, the Atlanta-based artist Lecrae, who pioneered Christian rap, leans to the left with political pronouncements. He calls on the white community to fight racism for the police for his politic for his politics. He drew so much um, ire from right-leaning Christians that would decide to divorce himself from white evangelism. Okay, Bizzle takes a different tack to the problems facing his community. He blasts the African-American rappers for selling out and poisoning the hood with false, false promises of riches in crime while the majority of the fans wind up in jail or die. In Just Saying, that's one of his, his songs, he spits, they, they say the government gave us guns, liquor, and crack, but last time I checked, your dealer was black and your killer was black. Bizzle also had raised, okay, so that was that, was that song. So. Bizzle and Lecrae, they have one mission, you know, mm-hmm. and they have songs for the Lord. And they, they come at it in different aspects. The same, the same, how would you say it? They got the same end point, but this one's talking to these people, and this one's talking to the other people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then these people might not get what Bizzle's saying, and the, the people that Lecrae is reaching are not going to probably not be the same people that Bizzle's reaching. So, in it, it, I think it works out all all out great for the lord you know what i mean yeah. so i think that's pretty cool you know they they complement each other yet they're not the counterbalanced you know they come at it at different angles um bizzo has also raised money for water projects in mozambique africa but before he turned to jesus he worked so hard to get money that he slipped to illegitimate means then he renounced his sinful ways and god showed him the true path to happiness Bizzle says, I thought having that glamorous life would make me happy, but the Lord and seeking a good relationship with him, that is what fulfills me. So, now that we got to learn about Bizzle, mm. that was pretty cool. I think, like, when you see things like that, when he says, I used to rap about a lifestyle that, that I never, you know, I never lived. You know, he was so, like, wrapped up in, like, um, yeah, let's see. Moving in the background, they complement each other in different sides. Yeah, exactly. They complement each other on different sides of, of the you know, even if it's political or anything like that. They complement each other, so they counterbalance each other. Um, so it was nice to see that. Um, just to be kind of humble, you know, because he talks about he in his lyrics he talks about you know gaining weight and things like that. He's he doesn't um, he's not afraid to put stuff that he's wor- that God's working on him or he's working on you know, and. Um, and uh, in his lyrics and things like that so it's, it's like um makes you feel more like like he's a brother you know what i mean he's more open and things like that so that was pretty cool it was kind of cool to get to know how he came to christ you know i think that's really good that we added this to the show so i think that's really cool so yeah so wow he's keeping his money in the bible and just started yeah. reading it so that was the lord it was the lord Hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm gonna run through the lyrics and then we'll 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 hit some scripture. Okay, so in the verse one it says Bizzle it says, "Tell me why they hating on me? C- Cause it's God over money and my whole team. God over money. He does have a a record label. It's called God over money. I'm banged out like Yeshua is my OG, and I really." I, I don't really know why they be low key. Logo on my chest, like what it do. We we follows we follows of Christ, homie. What are you? And if you're not one, we can still kick it. But I might preach to you. I'm just being real with it. Christ says you gotta love them when they front too. Your love measures by the hate you can love through. And if Christ at the cross for the same ones who put him there, died for his killers, he can love you. He the boss. I be on my jail. The way I do, God, I'm aiming at my halo. The truth hurt, but it do work. Until you meet him, you never know your true worth. I keep it 100. And some of y'all love it. And some of y'all don't, but I ain't finna change nothing. G-O-M, God over money. We keep him coming. And if it and if it's hating, you're the only one that does it. And then the, the hook, which is Bizzle, says, Homie, you can hate me, but you're getting no hate back. No, you're getting no hate back. Because... Because, homie, you can hate me, but you get no hate back. Because all the hating in the world going to make me a hater. 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 And it keeps going on like that. 
Verse 2 is Bizzle again. It says, Born sinner, I came with a flaw. Fit to see the light, I was raised in the dark. We done, ca we done came for the loss and he paid on the cross. I'm a servant of the king and I bang for the cause. You say you ain't Christian, alright, cool. You can, And you can't rock with us because it's not you. But game rock red and snoop rock blue. You ain't never bang in your life so you cop too. Just saying, y'all be acting funny though. First, I'm a hater because I'm broke and my money low. Find out I made a couple hundred on the low. They be like, so I thought it was God over money though. Hate it when I'm paid. Hate it when I'm broke. They hating on, on my faith. They hating on my folks. See them drowning in the middle of the ocean. When you pull up, they be hating on your boat. Mm. <laughs> I think that verse is so funny. <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> they're drowning, right? You ever heard that story where, where they're like, God's gonna help us, you know? Um, uh, no, no, no. The, these people are drowning. They ask for God for help, and then somebody comes by in a boat. They're like, Hey, we help you. No, we're waiting for God. You know, we're waiting for God to come help us. And like God sending like all these people to to save them, and then and then they're like, God, where are you? And he's like, You know how many times I sent this ship? I sent that person and <laughs> sent that person. You know? Uh -huh. So he says. So when he says that, I see him drowning in the middle of the ocean. When you pull up, they'd be hating on your boat. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> haters, man. No matter what, you know, what can you do? You know, hey, <laughs> we're going to find out why people hate us, too. <laughs> but it's funny. You're in the middle of the ocean. You pull up, they'd be hating on your boat. Man, just constantly hating. <laughs> it's all right, though, hey. Let them hate, man. <laughs> it's funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bizzle goes into the hook. He says, Oh, well, you can hate me, but you ain't getting no hate back. And that's that scripture, too. We'll get into that. And then INF is uh, verse 3. He says, First thing first, I'm blessed, boy. All this stress when you dress like Metroid. <laughs> as, a, as a gamer, we know what me I know what he's talking about Metroid. He's like got armor. Huh. And so he says, All up in the armor, stunning like a hater. Stunning on a hater like. You don't see this label on my chest, boy. You already know, though. Bump, bumpy getting to snapping like that photo on my click, click. We the misfits that spit swift. Something like where the Indians will live. Intense, intense. It's more to music than your amusements. Knew that before. Even form a union with the boy in Houston. Yeah, I never doubt what the Lord is doing. But Neil is, I just grab my sword and the word and prove it uh oh this <laughs> this mm. platform we use we using mask on evolution is that strong the illusion is passed on where the youth is i'm back drawn the blueprint of any hater of god get a blast on for the movement that's that he came in pretty hard with that one too i was yeah. like dang and then the, it, it ends with um bizzle's uh homie you can hate me but you ain't getting no hate back you know because if he starts hating he said, the world going to make me a hater. Hater. It's true, man. It's easy to be a hater. I'm all, it is. All right. Hi, Teresa. Right. Let's have bars. I love these guys, but when they have like, like when one KFU came in and then he had a gazelle at the end, it's like, oh, dang. Mm. It's like, oh, like. I love the song anyways, but it's like when they have that little that sneak peek of somebody, that little featurette, you know? <laughs> it's pretty cool. I don't know. I, I love music. Alright. Alright, so it says, tell me why they hating on me. The very first line. So we're going to get into that. Why are they hating on me? Why do you think people hate on you if you have Christ? Well, John 15, 18. Get to work. Get to work. <laughs> <laughs> John fifteen eighteen says if the world hates you you know that it hated me before it hated you 18 15 15 no. 18 15. I'll read 17 this is my command to you love one another if the world hates you understand that it hated me first if you were of the world it would love you as its own Instead, the world hates you because you're on you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. So if you have haters,
clap on. You know why? Because they hated Jesus too. It's all right. Let them hate. Because the world's going to make us a hater. <laughs> mm. A hater. Hater. Mm. Hater. <laughs> but Jesus said, this is my command to you. Love one another. If the world hates you, understand that it hated me first. Again, he's, he's, he's saying, hey, when he says, I go before you, man, he's saying, I, I was hated before you. So know that in this world, if, okay, if you were of the world, it would love you as its own. Now we know we're in this world, but we're not of the world. Our citizenship comes from the kingdom in heaven. All right? We're in this world, but we're not of this world. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, if we were of the world, in 19, it's John 15, 19. If you were of the world, it would love you as, as its own. So, you, what? You wouldn't have any haters. You'd have less haters. You would uh, fit in with the what's going on what's trending what's you know what I mean people everybody would love you instead the world hates you because you are not of the world not only are we not of the world when when it yes go pray <laughs> right <laughs> I got the giggles today oh man if you were of the world it would love you as its own you know what it just clicked Satan got authority in the garden, right? So this is his world. This is his playground. Yeah. And if we're of the world, then we're in his playground. We're in his playground. We're basically like his children. We need to get out. <laughs> we need to not make sure we're not getting we're not like Lot and putting our 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 tent next to freaking Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. All like ha ta 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 and he's all like <laughs> Hey girl, mm -hmm. call me when you get home. Uh. It's like, no, Lot, you should have parked your tent way over there on the other side. Y'all messed up. Y'all messed, y'all lucky Abraham's praying. Okay, so if Satan's, this is Satan's playground, and if he's at the, he's running amok here on, on the earth, the world hates you because you're not of the world. Mm-hmm. So we're sealed with the Holy Spirit. And he don't like that. So he's going to hate on us because we're not a part of the world. We're not a part of his scheme, his plan. Yeah. So we got haters. It's good. It's a good thing. Okay? Okay. But I have chosen you out of the world. That's redemption. Mm -hmm. I have chosen you. Okay, that is very relieving to hear. Okay, the world hates you because you are not of the world, but have chosen you out of the world. So, we are in the world. He has chosen us out of the world. Mm -hmm. Chosen. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. 1 John 3.13 First John three eighteen. Three thirteen. First John three thirteen. Thirteen. We're still on why are they hating on me? Could it's God over money on my whole team? Okay. So do not be surprised, brothers, if the world hates you. Don't be he says, ha ha. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Okay. So do not be surprised, brothers do and sisters. Surprised. We're brothers. It, it, uh, brothers, sisters, same thing, you know, same. If the world hates you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Didn't I just say that? Uh, yes. Yeah, but you are not of this world since I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Oh, okay. First John 3, 3 13. Okay. Well, that was supposed to be something else there, obviously. The world hates you. Yep. You know that it hated me before it hated you. John fifteen eighteen. 
Okay. Alright, because he says it's, it's God over money on the whole team. So God over money. So this is his label too. This is a uh, thing. So why God over money? First of all, God is God and he's he's the maker and creator of everything. And money is deceitful. Proverbs eleven twenty eight. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. What's up? I'll see you later. Hi. He's a like, what's up? <laughs> Proverbs what? 11.28. You're going to have to practice your typing skills. Just no, I just take a little while. But you can see it, right? Alright, Proverbs 11.28 says, He who trusts in riches will fail, will fall. And fail too, but it says will fall. But the righteous shall flourish as the green leaf. I like how the Bible uses stuff that we can see as, like, pictures. You know, when he says, you shall, um, what's it, on Psalms 23, he says, by rivers of water. How does it go? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me by the still waters. He restores my soul. He lead me down the path of righteousness for his namesake. He says, lead me in the green pastures. Now when you think of green pastures, you think the pasture is well, well fed, it's well watered. It's green always means like life. You know, there's water. Water is the word. And it says, He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a green leaf. Green leaf, for me, I think it means it's watered. It's it's rich. It's, you know, it, it's rich because it's been watered and it's been taken care of. See, he who trusts in riches will fall, but the righteous shall flourish as the green leaf. So he's saying, we're going to flourish because we're righteous in Jesus Christ. None of anything that we've done, but what he's done for us. So we will flourish as the green leaf. Okay? Now, we're talking about God over money. Why God says, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. anyone? Yeah. Good. I like that. We're here for you guys. In the name of Jesus. Okay, Ecclesiastes, you're going to have to look at that. Ecclesiastes. E-C-C-L-E-S-I-A-S-T-E-S, -E -E 510. I-A-S-T-E-S, -S, what? Yes, 510. I'm at, I'm at, um, S. There's a bunch of S's. E-C-C-L-E-S. Let me just start over. Okay. E-C-C. -C. You have to get used to this. E C C L E S I A S T E S five ten E wait L E S I S Just kidding E Ecclesiastes I feel like I'm in a grammar like Ecclesiastes Proverbs. I like that one. Who he who trusts in riches will fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a green leaf. Yep. I like that. I like when they when the Bible uses stuff that we know, you know, that we can that we still actually still see, you know, when we look at the tree. You know, a tree that's not watered well, that's not taken care of it's brown or yellow or it's just dead. But a tree that's taken care of and watered and pruned has green leaves and Jesus is the one who does that to us he prunes us cleans us the word of the, the word clean waters us okay and we bear good fruit or well, we're supposed to <laughs> but yeah we will righteous shall flourish as a green leaf okay Green leaves. All right, Ecclesiastes five ten. Whosoever loves money never has enough. 
Yeah. So I guess we see a lot of that in Hollywood. I haven't finished it. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. I mean, how many times have we seen in the news and I mean in real life, like Robin Williams and and people taking their lives and they have thousands, millions of dollars, you know? And it's like the money's like the money's not it's <laughs> It's not the root of happiness, you know what I mean? I mean, the word of God, that, that hole in people's hearts that's missing, that's that's where Jesus is supposed to be, you know, the love of God, you know? And um, it just sucks that, that, that these people take their lives or, you know, go down a spiral thing and do drugs like that when, um, you know, hopefully they come around to Christ. Um, other people, you know, mainly talking about Hollywood because, you know, mostly those are the people who have a lot of money, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, Oprah and all that junk too. So Lord, yeah. pray for their salvation. I don't know about them. Oh, yeah. shoot. <laughs> Man, it, oh, golly, you know, talk about evil. But um, what I'm saying is that whoever loves money, Ecclesiastes 5.10 tells us, whoever loves money has never has enough. So it's a never-ending cycle. Yeah. It's like, I gotta get it, gotta get it. I gotta have this, I gotta have that. And you're like constantly chasing that. And um, we, we need to be chasing God. We need to be chasing Jesus. We need to be chasing our shepherd, watching our shepherd, you know? Actually, we just don't, we don't have to chase anything. Follow the Lord. Don't run. Because Proverbs says, what does Proverbs say? Proverbs says, I got a funny joke. I'm going to say it. Don't go anywhere. I got a joke about running. Huh. <laughs> Running, running, running. I got a joke about running. It says, I want it. Okay. It's like a meme. Okay. It's on Proverbs 28 1. I wanted to go jogging, but Proverbs 28 1 says, The wicked run when no one is chasing them. So there goes that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the wicked run when no one is chasing them. Okay. So never satisfied so mm. don't run after money run after don't run after, walk with jesus jesus is always walking <laughs> i don't i don't think i've ever heard a verse where jesus is actually running no i don't think so not. he's always taking his time and i appreciate that because i don't like to walk fast either mm. thank you jesus for walking and not running <laughs> ah. because The wicked run when no one is chasing them. Okay? Proverbs 28.1. I don't know if I'm saying that in context. I'm just making a joke though. Okay? Because <laughs> I don't like to run. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Who are we at? Okay. So whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. Okay? So we have God over money. So God fulfills. Money doesn't. So, our next one is Proverbs 23, 4 through 5. <laughs> My son's making darts out of <laughs> tacks and paper. At least he's doing something. Yeah, we're quarantined, so... Mom, it's not a dart. It's not a... It's a throwing dart now. Okay, now it's a throwing dart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Proverbs 23, 4 through 5. Do not wear yourself out to get rich. Do not trust your own cleverness. Oh. Cast but a glance at riches, and they are gone. For they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. Hmm. There's an eagle again. There's hmm. always an eagle somewhere in the Bible. I cannot, every time I hear the eagle, I think about what we learned at Bible study. Yeah. Where the mother eagle just drops the baby eagle and she's like, you're going to fly today. I just like, every time I think, <laughs> I'm like, die. She's like, fly or die. Fly or die. Do it now. 
Okay, do not wear <laughs> do not wear yourself out to get rich. Okay. Do not trust your own cleverness. And this also I think this also coincides when we talk about do not trust your own cleverness is do not lean on your own your own understandings, but lean on the Lord, you know? Cast but a glance at cast but a glance at riches. Just just a glance. Mm. And they are gone, for they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. So the riches of this world will sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. They're not going to be worth anything in heaven. Okay? Cast but a glance at them. Do not trust your own cleverness and do not wear yourself out to get rich. Because it's God over money on my whole team. Alright. Tell me why they're hating on me. Because it's God over money on my whole team. I'm banged out like Yeshua is my OG. Yeshua is my OG. Alright, I just want to touch on Yeshua. Yeshua is a Hebrew word for Jesus. Yeshua. Okay, so this is what I wrote down. Yeshua, it is the understanding that Yeshua is a more personal name of Jesus because it originated in the lifetime that Jesus was alive on earth. The use of Yeshua in Hebrew is, in Hebrew context, connects more to when Jesus emerged in the presence of those around him, as well as Hebrew being mentioned earlier as the holy language. Those who were fluent in Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic would decipher that Yeshua meant deliverer and savior and realize that this was more than just a man. Coupled with his behavior and spiritual connection with God, those around him would see that he was different from others. And this probably led him being loved by some and hated by others. Perfect. He's loved by some and hated by others. Yeshua, our Savior. In Greek, Hebrew and Aramaic, Yeshua meant deliverer, sa Savior. Okay? Because I'm banging out like sh like sh Yeshua is my OG. He's my o my original gangster. Yeshua? Woo -woo. <laughs> <This is the laughs> All right. And I don't really know why to be low key. We don't have to be low key. We can be as bold as lions. Okay? We don't have to be low key. All right? Because we're banged out like Yeshua is my OG. All right? Don't have to be low key. Logo on my chest, like what it do. We the followers of Christ, homie, what are you? I I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm a follower of Christ. You know what I mean? If you ain't, hey, more than welcome to be on the team. You know what I mean? But if you are, we familia. All right. And if you're not the one, we can still kick it. And if you're not the one, okay, we can still kick it. But I might preach to you. I'm just being real with it. Stop. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. And if you're not one, we can still kick it. But I might preach to you. I'm just being real with it. All right. You got friends. I'm in this situation a lot with my friends. All right. I got half unbelie half believers, half unbelievers, believe un the believers. I got some unbelievers around me. You know, and. uh just kind of grew out of my shell after a while you know what i mean and uh i think when they started noticing that i wasn't around on thursday nights i was like nope that's my night I've gotta go got to go that's my time that's my time y'all know, know. y'all know already where i'm at thursday night all right okay so you know what i mean so after having that two or three years what so we're gonna hit <laughs> the dark <laughs> Tristan, don't be shooting us. What? Not. <laughs> oh, are you shooting the sky? <laughs> I mean, the ceiling. Okay. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so yeah, Thursday night. That's my night. All right. So after doing that for like two or three years straight, people started noticing. I was like, hey, that's my time. I gotta go. You know what I mean? I made that. Y'all having barbecue? Hey, I gotta go. Six o'clock, I gotta go. You know what I mean? I started putting my foot down, you know, and putting that time up for God yeah. before before my friends. Because I just had I had to do it. 
I like it. I like to do it. I like to go to Bible study. Yeah, I love, love going. I learned so much. I let me tell you something right now. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now if I never went to Iron Sharp is Iron Bible study. The Stevie's such a great teacher. Everybody there, the fellowship, everybody there is a great teacher. Everybody there um, get together and we all learn off each other. We all laugh. We have a cry sometimes. Uh, we all say things that you're like, huh? Mm. Gabriel, what? <laughs> there was mummies and tornadoes. <laughs> you know, I get these things, you know what I mean? I'm just saying that I wouldn't be able to do this if I never went to those Bible studies. I wouldn't be able to be bold like this. I wouldn't be able to talk like this. Um, if I didn't seek out the knowledge, if I didn't go and um, fellowship and, and read with you guys, you know what I mean? So I'm really thankful for that, you know. We love you guys, you know. And, um, man, where did I go with that? Well, anyways, oh, I know where I was going with that. It says, now we can still kick it, but I might preach you. I'm just being real with it. See, over this amount of time, this is, I guess this is my, te uh, a testimony, you know, that I've been going, um, to Bible study two to three years now, er uh, you know, every Thursday, all my friends started to notice it, of course. You know, they would get together usually on those days too. And I'm like, no, I set apart this time to go. You know, so they started seeing that I draw the line, they respect the line. And so, of course, they ask um, Orta or the kids or somebody who is not there what I'm doing. And, hey, I'm going, or they ask me, I'm going to Bible study, going to Bible study. You know what I mean? And um, I think it just speaks volumes when you start to just be more bold but not arrogant if you feel me you know what i mean bold but not poofy not arrogant and not um um not bragging you know what i mean just bold in a godly way i guess you would say it and um humble at the same time um yeah. to say that you made that time to go out and to go learn about jesus you know what i mean and uh, i think the lord for that opportunity and that that the people around me see that and um and that they reach out to me also and to my family and uh you know for prayer and advice and things like that that's what i'm here for and i'm here to do the the lord's work i'm here to be a servant a servant of righteousness you know what i mean i'm not here to be served so um i'm just glad that um that the light can shine in me and um i'm glad that people see it and I'm just looking forward to keep on trucking. You know what I mean? Keep on learning. I, I, I believe that we never stop growing in the Word, and we can continue to grow, always, and um, and and be that light around others. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'm thankful for that. That we can still kick it, but I'm gonna preach to you. I'm just being real with it, so I can uh, relate to Bizzle when he says that. You know, says. Christ says you gotta love them when they front too, you know. But yeah, so I'm I'm just thankful and grateful that because um, without the Iron Sharp Design Iron Bible Study, I wouldn't be able to to do this. I wouldn't have that kind of knowledge or or even you know the boldness. And uh, that that is the Lord, but it's also um, shout out to you guys and everybody that runs it. Stevie, uh, being a great teacher, um, I wouldn't be able to do it without it. And uh, it's nice, and uh, I enjoy it, you know. So, yeah. So thank you guys and thank you for always uh, fellowshipping with me and and uh, being there for us and and teaching us taking the time out to teach us okay all right shout out we're the followers of christ homie what are you and if you're not the one we can still kick it but i might appreciate it. i'm just being real with it christ says you gotta love them when they front too all right christ says you gotta love them when they front too all right i know what you're thinking what could the Bible possibly have to do with haters? But yes, haters have been around for a very long time. Jesus had plenty of haters, and the Bible gives clear instructions on how to handle them. One, no one likes this. I know I didn't like it at first. It's do nothing. That's Luke 21, 17 through 19. And you know what's funny? Go ahead and write it while I'm writing it. As I remember Tyler had it. I had an instance that can I can I share can I share the story? So like when I fell, you fell down on a table. <laughs> it's kidding. You fell down on a table. Okay, well, go ahead. I don't know. Oh, was it the fishing? No, your friend, the guy at the school that was like messing with you. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I and I was like, okay. So anyways, to make a long story short, well, I don't know if my story is short. Um, Tyler had some uh, some problems at school with some kid or whatever. You know how it is. And then uh, there's like literally nothing I can do, you know. And when he goes to school, he's got to handle himself, right? And I was like, dude, seriously, I'm not copying out. But we have to pray for him. Like, there's... We have to fight in the heavenlies. Like, I know it sounds like... It sounds stupid. Like, when you think of it in a worldly way, you're like, yo, okay, yo. I mean, yeah, when if, if someone to come up to him, I'm like, yeah, dude, stand your ground. You know what I mean? You don't fight somebody. Yeah, if someone's going to uh, physically hurt you, yeah. You know, stand your ground and, 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 you know, knuckle up. You know what I mean? Do what you got to do. But if it's somebody, you know... It's like I said, we're going to have haters. Hey, pray for them. You know what I mean? It's hard. It's hard. Hard. I know for me it was. I don't know if you guys it's easy or anything, but hey, it's, it's hard for me to bless my enemies, to bless haters. It's like, oh. Mm. It's like, ah, it's so hard. Sometimes you just start, you Lord, bless. Uh, and I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, uh, just, you know that person I want to bless? And um, you know my heart, so bye. <laughs> Say amen. <laughs> you know, it, it, you gotta make it. It's not gonna. You're gonna be perfect on the first try. You're not gonna be perfect on the first. You know, oh, fa, ho, father, holy, are out thou, and uh, bless um, or Kevin Rodriguez. <laughs> you know, like you know, you're not gonna be perfect at it. And you, it's okay. That's oh, Tristan, you shook the whole thing. It's okay. Because you know what, you can talk to God like He's your friend, like your, like He's your father. Okay, because God knows your heart. You know what I mean, and just keep that practice. What happened? Are you reading? Oh, it says want to lay hands on him a little. I know, right? Oh my God, there's a saying. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking about all kinds of funny things today. Lay, lay hands. Timmy has a funny joke about laying, laying hands on things, but I cannot remember it right now. But if I remember it next time, I'll tell you. But yeah, it is so hard. I mean, I get it, you know? And it's it, it's really hard, especially like if you had a confrontation with somebody and you want to pray for them and like you know the word says to do that and to bless your enemies and you're just like, I thought the coals are supposed to be on their head. It feels like it's on my head, you know? <laughs> but you know, what can you do? But, but we just practice what we preach, you know what I mean? And I know we're not going to be perfect and it's just, you know, really it is, it's just a habit. You know, we form that habit of not being bitter and things like that because i i've i i speak from experience like i'm not telling you i've, I've oh i've never been bitter I've, I've never played for my enemies because i do and it's hard but if you make a habit of it it becomes easier you know it's like breaking a bad habit of being bitter or a bad habit of not being um forgiving you know um for me when i do that um i realize how much jesus has done for me and that helps me forgive other people but I, i'm not a stepping stone though you know i won't continue to let anybody um like verbally or emotionally abuse me in any way you know you have to draw the line okay so you gotta love them when they front too okay so first peter three nine. Oh wait no sorry i'm a luke right i wrote luke yeah okay did i read that Luke 21, 17 through 19. I went off on a tangent. I didn't even have any caffeine. All right. Everyone everyone will hate you because of me, but not a hair on your head will perish. Stevie, he can see the very small hairs that doesn't get the shaver that does not on there. You can't feel. There's still hair there, and he knows those numbers. So not a hair on your head will perish. Okay. All right. Stand firm and you will win in life. Okay, so Luke 21, 17 through 19. Everyone will hate you because of me. But not a hair on your head will perish. Stand firm and you will win in life. You will win life. Wow. Everyone experiences hate and bitterness at some point in their life. Whether it's from friends, family, co-workers, it happens to the best of us. As Christians, we are called to live in ways that many won't understand. And it's true. A lot of people who don't understand biblical principles or just anything of the Bible, they just don't understand why we would do that. Jesus warned us that we would be hated, but he tells us to stand firm and do nothing. 
Luke 21 19 he even goes as far as saying that he will that we will win in life as hard as it may be stand firm now to win later that's pretty good huh mm -hmm. all right first Peter 3 9 Amen. I see amens on there. Amen. Amen. First Peter 3 9 says, Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless. For, for to this you were called, that you may obtain a blessing. So I'm going to read it again. Do not repay evil for evil, or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless. For this to you, for to this you were called, that you may be obtained that you may obtain a blessing. Here it is that we are called again. We're called. We're chosen. Man. That makes me feel loved. It really does. You may that you may obtain a blessing. All this over. Called. You're chosen. Okay? It's so easy to want to fight back or say the perfect comeback when someone disrespects you or your beliefs. I I gotta pause for a moment because Robbie Zacharias, apologetics in general, have taught me to be a better Christian when it comes to being disrespected by your beliefs. I can say that I love the person I've never met in my life because of the way he taught and the what he teached and what he he brought all around the world you know what I mean and uh, man I know he's with the Lord right now but golly he just upended my whole th whatever theology I had at that time and um, it's amazing what one man of God can do and teach can change somebody and I've never physically met this person and I'm like wow you know what I mean I love apologetics I love Robbie Zacharias and bless the Lord thank you Lord for sending people like him to show us that that we can be peacemakers but also defend the gospel in a, in a peaceful way I think that's a good way to say it you know what I mean defending it but yet when he talks about it he makes you want to know get to know christ even if you weren't like an if you were an atheist you know it's just how it's presented and that that's the lord that's the lord you know what i mean and bless his heart bless him he's oh he's with the lord but bless, bless his family all right all right it's so easy to fight back and say perfect comeback when someone disrespects you with your beliefs but nothing good comes from payback after all an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind <laughs> the yeah. bible tells us that we will obtain blessings after we bless those who hurt us yes all right and then so don't try to figure out why why people what why they hate psalms 38 19 I like your guys' comments. Tyler, you can chime in and read them whenever you want. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Psalms 38, 19. Many have become my enemies without cause. Those who hate me without reason are numerous. I know from... Okay. I know from personal experience that you can drive yourself crazy trying to figure out why someone dislikes you. I wish I could, could go back in time and read this verse to my younger self. Some people will hate you for no reason and need, we need to learn to be okay with that. Focus your efforts on living your best life instead of wasting them trying to justify someone else's hate. Homie, you can hate me, but you gain no hate back. No hate back. Because all the world, all the, what's all the hate in the world going to make me a hater? Hater. Hater, 
All right. Where are we on? We did Peter. Did we do Psalms? Oh, we did that. Oh, wait. We'll hit four and five right now. And okay. Your love measures by the hate you can love through. And if Christ at the cross for the same ones who put him there, died for his killers, he can love you. He the boss, Abi Amajeo, the way I do God, amen at my halo. The truth hurt, but it do work. Until you meet him, you can never know your true worth. I keep it. 100. Some of y'all love it. And some of y'all don't, but I ain't finna change nothing. God over money, G-O-M, we keep it coming. And if it's hating, you're the only one that does it. <laughs> hmm. So, he says, homie, you can hate me, but you ain't getting no hate back. Because all the, all the hating in the world is going to make me, won't make me a hater. So, uh, on the fourth point I have here is, uh, forgive them. Ephesians 4.32. Okay. Instead, be kind to one another, to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Anything? And Haters so. are gonna hate. They can't handle the truth, right? Yeah. Yeah. The truth. Yeah. No matter how close you are to God, you spend every day living in sin. God. Okay. Technically, yeah. God loves you so much that He forgives every single sin and doesn't look at you any. At you any differently. Ephesians 4.32 makes it clear that God wants us to be kind to others and forgive them like God has forgiven us. He never said forgiving our haters would be easy, but he did tell us it's a ne it's necessary. Okay, true. Five, bless them. In Romans 12.14. <laughs> In Romans 12.14. I love Romans. I love Romans. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Bless and do not curse them. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. If someone tells you to curse people that come against you, can you read them Romans 12, 14, where it says, Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Because if you curse somebody, that's witchcraft. Hmm. If you say things bad about people and you ask other people to agree with you about that, about sending things back, anything like that, it's witchcraft. It's annoying. The Bible says, Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Yeah. No, you want to go against that and you want to be a child of rebellion, which is the twin sister of witchcraft. You know what, player? You do you. You do you because I'm going to do Christ, all right? I'm going to do Romans 12, 14 that says, bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them, okay? Because our spiritual weapons are in the spiritual realm. Okay? And our words are what? Either fruit or they're poison. Poison, their death, or life. So Romans 12 14 tells us, bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. If someone tells you different, slap them. Yep. And repent later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, you, oh, hey, hey, I'm just playing, but you know, hey, it happens. You know, bless your haters. Every person you meet, you meet, was put into your life for a reason. Some of you, some are here to bless you, Ooh. while some are here to test you. The next time your character is tested by someone, go out of your way to bless them, and God will bless you in return. Amen. Okay, I'm gonna read the the next two things because those are most of my notes right there. Let's see. Born sinner, I came with a flaw. Born sinner means what? 
the sin from Adam and Eve. Mm-hmm. Fin to see the light, I was raised in the dark. We came from the dark because we weren't saved yet. When we came saved, we came to the light. Mm-hmm. We done came for the loss, and he paid on the cross. Jesus paid on the cross. I'm a servant of the king and a bang for the cause. The way. <laughs> You say you ain't Christian. Alright, cool. It's cool. Do you? So I'm gonna do this me right here. Alright? Do this. Follow Jesus. The way. And you can't rock with it because it's not you. But game rock red. The game. And Snoop rock blue. You ain't never banged in your life. And he's talking about himself right here. But you cop too. <laughs> Just saying. Y'all be acting funny though. First, I'm a hater because I'm broke and my money low. Find out I made a couple hundred on the low. They'd be like, so, I thought it was God over money, though. So he's talking about he had no money, and then he got a little bit, and then people are hating him and say, oh, I thought it was God over money. It's like, dude, can he, can he get a paycheck? Can you not hate on me? You know what I mean? Can I have some money? Can I go to a nice store? Well, can I go to the swap meet? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Can I get some real filas? <laughs> Not fifas? <laughs> man, that's so hating, man. <laughs> Steve says, love that part, LOL. <laughs> Find out I made a couple hundred on the low. They'd be like, so I thought it was God over money, though. They hate it when I'm paid. They hate it when I'm broke. <laughs> no matter what, you got money in your pocket or not, they still hating. Hating. They hating on my faith. They hating on my folks. See them drown in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> when you pull up, they be hating on your boat. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's true, though, man. Lord, you're like, Lord, bless, bless them. Bless them. See, I went over there, took my boat. I tried to sell. Y'all, Lord, you know my heart. A&F says, first things first, I'm blessed, boy. I like how you, I, I like when people pro they things. No matter what's going on in their life. They say, no, I'm blessed. So he says, first things first, I'm blessed, boy. You know what I mean? Because what comes out of our mouth matters. All this stressed, all this stressed when you dressed up like Metroid. So he's saying, don't be stressed when you got the armor of God on. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be stressed. Like, realize what you got on. Study it. You don't know what it is. Study it. What do you got on? You realize that once you have that on and you, you're prepared, that you shouldn't be stressed. See? It goes hand in hand. We gotta learn. You know what I mean? All up in the armor, stunning like a hater. On a hater, like, you don't see this label on my chest, boy. You already know, though. Bump getting snapping like a photo on my click, click. We the misfits that spit swift. Something like where them Indians will live in tents. It's more to music than your amusements. Knew that before he formed a union with the, whole, with the boy in Houston. That's Bizzle. Because he came out from Houston. Well, he was over there. No, his wife's in Houston. They moved over there in Houston. Yeah, I never doubt what the Lord is doing. I like how it says that. I never doubt what the Lord is doing. So no matter what, in the background, the wo- I read the other day. How's it go? That God never sleeps. I'm looking up for you guys real fast. Like he never slumbers. And uh, sleeps. And just thinking about that was like you know what it gave me like peace knowing that I know I have to sleep if I don't get a certain amount of hours I am I am a witch the next day I'm mean let's see but God never sleeps he doesn't have to sleep you know what I mean and I think this way a big thing um um that we pray before we go to bed too and I for I don't always remember to but I have to get in that habit again you know I see. Let's, let's go to King James. Behold, he who sleeps Israel keeps Israel shall neither shall neither sleep neither. Uh, I'm gonna start over. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. And the cross references are Psalms 121:3. He will not allow your foot to slip. Your protector will not slumber. Psalms 121:5. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is the shade on your right hand. Psalms 127 1 unless the Lord builds the house its builders labor in vain unless the Lord protects the city its watchmen stand guard in vain okay so God does not sleep so make sure you say your prayers before bed and 
realize that wow we have a creator who watches over us and let's take advantage of that when we're not awake okay that's for me too all right let's see you never doubt what the lord is doing but neil i just grabbed my sword with the word and prove it what's the sword the word pop quiz the word okay this platform we're using mask on evolution is that strong the illusion is passed on where the youth is i'm back drawn the blueprint on any hater of god and get a blast on for the movement man homie you can hate me but you ain't getting no hate back okay because all the hating in the world won't won't make me a hater 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 all right bless and do not curse them bless those who persecute you bless and do not curse them forgive them don't try to figure out why they're hating don't hate them back you can do nothing and remember he who trusts in riches will fall but the righteous shall flourish as green leaf let's all be green leaves let's flourish let's be righteous shall flourish as green leaves all right um what else we learn if the world hates you you know that it hated me before it hated you okay is there anything else tyler if you're hated then that's good huh you're gonna have haters yeah because jesus christ lives inside you and he is the light and because we're not part of the world and we're not of the world the world will not just the world's gonna hate us Yes. A lot of the world is, is going to hate us because we speak the truth. The truth is the word. The word. The word is God. The word is God, and they don't like it, and that's just too bad. We're going to have to be bold as lions, and bless them anyways. Yeah. And that's what's going to make us different from other people. That's what's going to make us not be the eye for an eye people. We have to, you know, do what Romans twelve says: bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Why? Because the next time your character is tested by someone, go out of your way to bless them. And God will bless you in return. So there's nothing in it for me physically to find out for me to go hit up somebody and like go beat them up. Bless them and then wait for God to bless me. You know what I mean? It's hard. I know. But practice makes perfect. You know what I mean? Do what we can. Just remember, garbage in, garbage out. So put good things in, put good things out. Remember, our words carry power. They're either life or they're death. They're poison or they're fruit. So choose them wisely. Um, pray for our trip this week. We're going to be going to Oregon on Thursday. Visiting my dad and, and then Aaron, my brother. And um, in the name of Jesus, we're going to have a great trip. And then great trip while we're there, Father. We just thank you and praise you. Give you glory for that time. And uh, we will be missing you guys on Thursday. So um, post that audio for us. And uh, we love you guys. And uh, we'll see you soon. And uh, thank you guys. Yeah. Just want to end it for us. Hmm? Press the X. See you guys later. The X. Here we go. You should say end live stream. End stream. Mm-hmm.